So, how will you find the work done by a gas in an isothermal process? For that, let us consider a beaker fitted with a piston like this. Let the piston be a frictionless piston. That is, there is no friction between the piston and walls of the container. Let this be the gas. Let this gas pushes the piston to a distance through a distance dx which means the work is done by the gas on the piston and let this be the final position of the piston. That is, this is the initial position and this is the final position of the piston. This, this is the final position and this is the initial position. Let the distance covered by the piston be dx. Okay. Then the small work done by the gas to move the piston to a distance dx is equal to, we have work dw is equal to force into displacement. That is work done equal to force into displacement. That is dw is equal to, but you know force is equal to pressure into area dx. Force force is equal to pressure into area, where area means the cross-sectional area of the piston. Okay, so base area into height, this, this term, base area, base cross-sectional area of the piston times the distance or height gives the volume. So the work done will be P into dV, where dV means the volume, dV equal to volume. So that's the expression for work done. Let's call this as equation number one. And we have PV equal to PV equal to nRT. This is the ideal gas equation. Ideal gas equation. Therefore, P equal to P is equal to nRT divided by V, where n is the number of moles, R the universal gas constant, T the temperature and V the volume. So let's call this as equation number 2. So if you substitute, substitute 2 equation 2 in 1, that is in this equation, you will get dW is equal to, instead of P you can write nRT by V D. Since the process is isothermal process, the temperature remains constant. We'll discuss that later. Now, in order to get the total work, how will you find the total work? Total work will be total work will be the integral of this one. That is nRT divided by V D. And let's call the initial volume as V1 and the final volume as V2. V1 initial initial volume and V2 the final volume. Final volume. Final volume. Okay. So work done is equal to integral V1 V2, V1 to V2 NRT by V D. So, how will you integrate this? Now we know this W is equal to this N, R and T remains constant. N is the number of moles which does not change or the universal gas constant. Then the temperature T, this since the process is isothermal process, isothermal process T is constant, T remains constant. Clear. So you can take hold all these terms outside that is nRT then integral V1 to V2 1 by V dV. But you know the integral of 1 by V is equal to 1 by x dx is log x. So nRT log V. Now you have to put the lower and upper limit. Lower limit is V1 the upper limit is V2. So, W is equal to nRT log log 
first you have to put the upper limit log v2 then you have to put the sign minus then second the lower limit log v1 but you know log a minus log b is equal to log a by b therefore work is equal to n r t log v2 divided by v1 so this is the expression for work done when you convert the log into the base of 10 you can multiply that with a factor 2.303 that is this is natural logarithm so work done in isothermal process equal to you in order to convert this natural log into the log of base 10 you have to multiply a factor 2.303 that is 2.2303 nrt log here the base is 10 log v2 by v1 so this is the expression for the work done in an isothermal process also for an isothermal process for an isothermal process which means temperature remains constant we have pv equal to a constant pressure times volume is equal to a constant or p1 v1 equal to p2 v2 so v2 by v1 if you take this v1 to the right and p2 to the left p2 by v1 is actually p1 by p2 so this expression can also be written as w is equal to 2.303 nrt log p1 by p2 where p1 is the initial pressure and p2 is the final pressure clear okay.